Hi everyone, this is Jason Ng. I'm a property investor and trainer. Today we are here at our very own investment, 331 Juchet Shop House, to talk about commercial and industrial property and why it should be on every one investment portfolio. I have here David Fo, a very good friend. He's a veteran in the commercial and industrial property investment for the last 25 years. David is here to provide more insights into the value of commercial and industrial properties like this 331 shop house here. Thank you, Jason. Hello, everyone. It's nice to be here today to dive deeper into this hot topic. So let's dive in right now. So David, would you shed some light on why commercial and industrial properties have increasingly become an attractive investment option, especially in comparison to, let's say, residential properties? Sure, Jason. Certainly, commercial and industrial properties, unlike residential properties, they are not subject to certain stamp duties and government interventions, mm, okay. like ABST and others. This provides investors with more flexibility in financing options and mitigate some of the uncertainties associated with policy changes. And now, there's more talk about commercial and industrial properties among investors. David, could you elaborate on the potential for capital appreciation uh, in the market for them? Sure, Jason. Absolutely. The limited supply of certain types of commercial and industrial spaces, such as shop houses, like the one here, creates a favourable environment for potential capital acquisition as this implies a potential increase in demand over time. In fact, shop houses have performed so well in this space that they far outstrip all other real estate investments over the long term. If we compare real estate capital gains since Singaporeans started to invest in properties since the 1980s till now, you will realise that shop houses have the best performance over condos and landed properties. Wow, that's, that's very impressive, David. So now let's talk about rental yields. Uh. How do they compare to residential properties, please? Rental yields for commercial and industrial properties can reach as high as 6 to 8%. Like in some food factories that I know, the annual returns can go up to 7 to 8%. This offers a much more attractive returns than residential properties. Now, I would say that with demand for commercial and industrial properties at an all-time high, now is a better time than ever to invest in commercial and industrial properties. Jason, that's true. Mm. Commercial and industrial properties stand out as a compelling choice for investors. Let me summarize here. Firstly, commercial and industrial properties are not subject to the ABSD even for your second, third or fourth property. Secondly, you only need a 20% down payment and obtain up to 80% loan if you qualify. Oh, David, that's uh, very reassuring. Uh, but many people are concerned about the quantum required to invest in a commercial and industrial property. Can you share some assurance about what's the quantum required? The quantum for investment in commercial and industrial properties are affordable as compared to residential. For 650,000 to 750,000 investment quantum, you can have many choices in industrial properties. For less than a million dollars, you can buy a prime office space in a CBD. Comparatively, for this quantum, you will not have many choices for residential properties. It is important to consider the unique advantages they offer and the potential they hold in the long run. All right, thank you very much, David. Well said. That's a lot of valuable information today. To talk about investing in commercial and industrial properties, like this uh, 331 shop house. Now, for the viewers who are tuning in, right, David and I, we are going to conduct a very powerful training on investing in commercial and industrial properties. So, click on the link around this video. David and I will see you there. Thank you.